the fourth in a series of short videos showing how to do the geometric construction assignment in AEDD 105. It's going to be the reverse OG. This is something you actually cannot do in AutoCAD any other way. At least you can't do it accurately or easily any other way except using traditional geometric construction techniques. What I'm going to do is to copy these two lines right here. Oop, not the dimension, but the lines themselves. I'm going to copy those over to the side. And the idea is to, re is to connect those two lines with a reverse OG, which means we need to have an arc that is tangent to this line at this point, swings down through, transitions in through a tangent point to another arc that reverses a direction, and that other arc has to be tangent to this line. Once again, we have a construction line layer. I'm going to start by drawing a construction line that goes between them. What I need to do now is to identify the midpoint of that construction line. And when I found the midpoint of that construction line, it'll allow me to divide this into two line segments. To mark the midpoint, I'm going to use a point. Before I use the point, I'm going to go to the View command. And under the View command, sorry, the View pull down. Under the View pull down, I'm going to go down. Oop, I made a mistake. It's under the Format pull down. I'm going to go down to the Point Style and change my point style so it shows up as a little bit of an X. So that view command, I was a little bit of a false start there. Instead, run the format command. I'm going to place a point at the midpoint of this line. I have the midpoint object snap going, so now I've divided that into two, and that's where my transition is going to take place. I'm going to start by drawing a construction line from the end of this one that is perpendicular to it. Since that's a horizontal line, I've got object tracking, I mean a polar tracking set to 90 degrees. I can just do that in AutoCAD like so. So I've started with a construction line going between the two endpoints. I found the midpoint of that construction line and marked it. I have another construction line perpendicular to the first line, second construction line perpendicular to the second line. What I'm trying to do is locate the center of an arc that will go from a tangency here and then end right there. I have one more thing I need to do. I know that my arc has to be on this construction line because that construction line is perpendicular to this line through the tangent point. What I need to know now is something else because that line is long so I need another construction line. My other construction line is going to go through the midpoint of that section right there, halfway between here and here. I'm going to do the perpendicular bisector. So what I need to do first is to take that point and use it to break that line into two segments. I'm going to do that using the break command. I'm going to say let's break this object right here. My first point of my break command is going to be the midpoint of that line. The second point of my break command is also going to be the midpoint of that line. I can type that in or I can just pick it. What I've got now is two separate line segments, each one of which has its own midpoint. Now I'm going to draw a line that goes through the midpoint of each segment and is perpendicular to that line segment. To do that, I'm going to start by going to my object snap settings. I'm going to right click in my object snap settings and I want to include perpendicular as a running object snap. Now, I draw a line. I'm going to start it here, and I'm tracking off. And you notice I'm tracking and getting a perpendicular line. I can take that line, draw it right down through that midpoint, like so. So that line right here is perpendicular to this segment, passes through like that. Draw another line, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to go perpendicular. This time I'm just going to track up until I get that intersection. Once I've got that intersection, I can come back and drag that through here like so. The purpose of this is to locate that point right there. So that if I now draw a circle, and the center of that circle is right here, and that circle goes through that point there, that's a tangency, and you'll notice it goes right through my original um, marking of the point that's halfway between the two endpoints of, of the lines. Draw another circle from here, do the same thing. Now I've got my reverse OG. These curves have to be tangent to each other. In order to clean this up, I use the AutoCAD trim command say let's trim the circle between that line and this one so I can get rid of my first segment. Go back in the trim command and say let's trim between that arc and that line. Get rid of that one right there. Once again I can say let's match the layer of those two arcs to that line right here. I have my reverse OG.